So when are we ever going to factor x plus 1 in real life? Well, check this out. Suppose we're just walking down the street and somebody approaches you and he wants you to solve his homework question for him. And if you can do that, you will actually get $1,000. And this is the question. Well, we have a function f of x is equal to, let's say, we have the cube root of x. And we have to find the derivative of this function when x is equal to negative 1. But you are not allowed to use the power rule. So you really have no choice to use the what? Well, you have to use the definition of the derivative. f prime of negative 1 is equal to the limit. And we can just do this version. x is approaching negative 1. And then we will just put on the function right here, which is the cube root of x and then minus well you have to put negative one right here and the cube of negative one is actually just negative one so it becomes positive one right here and divided by x minus minus one which is going to be plus one right here right and now Yes, we can just factor this guy, which is going to be what? Cube root of x, and then look at this as the third power, and then plus 1 to the third power right here. This right here is actually just equal to this guy, cube root of x, and then plus 1, times uh, the other part is just this guy squared, which is the cube root of x, and then square that, and then minus this times that, which is going to be the cube root of x, and then we have plus 1 squared, which is just 1. And you can see this and that actually cancel out very nicely, right? Very good. So now you just have to do what? Putting negative 1 right here and right here, we actually just have 1 over. Here we have the cube cube root of negative 1 squared, so be really careful with that, and then put down minus cube root of negative 1, and then we have plus 1 right here. And you see this right here is actually just 1, and another 1, and then another 1. All together we have just 1 third, and congratulations, you get your $1,000.